position. Just to review, on Monday, the U.S. House killed the Wall Street bailout for fear of getting swept out of office by a million Category 5 emails. So tonight, the Senate is going to step in, and after Rosh Hashanah ends at sundown, they will try to pass the bailout in the dark. Now, this version is different. It raises the insurance on bank deposits, but only for a year. And since the Constitution says money bills like this have to originate in the House and not the Senate, the way that the Senators will get this bill not to originate in the Senate, even though it does, will be to attach it to a completely unrelated bill from the House that extends energy tax credits. A very popular bill, but also not paid for. And therefore, the bill that the Senate is voting on after sundown, and then will send to the House on Thursday morning, is a bailout plan that is even more expensive than the bailout plan that failed in the House for being too expensive. It'll be interesting to see if the 12 Republicans who didn't want the failure of the President's economic policies rubbed in their faces on Monday will welcome it on Thursday. But there may be a magic wand. Little item on page C-22 of today's Wall Street Journal. Some shaky banks got a little healthier overnight after the Securities and Exchange Commission clarified its accounting rules so that loans that were listed as having basically no current value may now be legally listed as having value based on what they might be worth someday. Same bad loans, but now officially worth something. I believe the technical term is lipstick on a pig. Or, if you prefer, it's like saying, I can see profits from my house. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 710 Cairo, now on 97.3 FM.